Welcome back guys. So we're continuing on with this camper remodel and the next little step, you know, there's there's big projects and there's small projects. This I'm hoping would be a smaller one, but you know, this thing, this is the curtain that it has been in here. We definitely could leave it. It would do the job, but I'm enjoying exploring and I'm trying to pay attention to details. And uh, while I've left a couple little, you know, Easter eggs, so to speak, of the old camper here and there. This is not one I want to keep. This looks like I didn't know what to do. I didn't finish it. I could just go buy a little curtain, you know, whatever, put on here. But what we're going to do today is I got some of the same fabric that we've been using for the curtains and stuff. How this thing works, I like it because it retracts. When you pull it all the way down, like, like I said, it does retract on its own. I got down here to the bottom, and it's just stapled to this bar. And I'm like, okay, okay, I can work with that. I'm not going to make it this long. I don't see any reason it needs to be this long. But we are going to take this off. We're going to reuse the, the little piece of wood that's inside here. And uh, we're going to make our own. We're also going to put a little, there was like a, I don't know what, you, I don't know what they're called, curtain shear type thing, just draped over here just a little bit just to cover up the mechanism. So I got a plan for that too. If it's your if your house is like mine, you know, uh, the sewing machine is kind of off limits for me. So I could ask for my wife's help, but I was like, yeah, let's try something new. So let's go check out what we're. All right, doing. so I think we have everything we need here. We have our fabric. Um, I guess this is not the same pattern. I wanted to mix it up. I told you it was the same one we've used for the other curtains. Obviously, it's not. But um, yeah, I wanted to mix it up and use something else. I didn't want the whole camper to have the same exact curtains, really. So that was just my thought. Um, what we're going to do instead of sewing, and I don't know if it's any easier or not, but this is an iron-on adhesive. You know, it's basically a no sewing machine sewing, uh, no stitch sewing. Show how often I iron. I plug my iron in as I was getting everything out, getting my stuff set up. Walked away, started doing something. And then I started to panic because I'm like, what's burning? What's going on? Like, genuinely, I thought that there was a, a propane leak in the camper or like the stove was on but i kept checking it and it wasn't on shows how often i use a uh, iron because i actually jumped out and i'm like maybe it's inside the house and it's the dryer and then it dawned on me i go no i just turned the iron on to warm it up so let's just get in here and get this a try let's get going obviously the first step is going to be just taking this old curtain completely off of the rod all right, that was easy enough. I'm gonna keep this for now. I don't know if I'll keep it permanently or not. This just slides out. There we go with that. I'm not gonna film it for you guys. I'm gonna go back to the bathroom super quick. And uh, I'm just gonna like measure the length that I think's right. You I'm gonna have this one basically go from the rod, from where it's at, to touching the countertop. I don't need any more length than that, I don't think. So that's my plan. So let me come right back. Okay, no idea what that length is, because I don't have a tape measure. What I could tell you is it touches the countertop and has just a little excess so that I could flap it over, fold it over to create that pocket for this. Now that that's out of the way and I have my fabric, I'm gonna go back one more time, double check it, make sure that it works. I'm almost tempted to make it just a little bit longer. Yeah, because there's no need to make it come, pull all the way out. So, I am going to make it a little bit longer. I should have cut more. There wasn't a reason to make it that skimpy. Just cause, but I didn't think about, you know, not, uh, I really didn't put any thought to like, well, you don't have to pull it all the way out. I just wanted to be tidy and not have a bunch of excess. But then I probably cut it just a slight bit too skimpy to not give me myself much wiggle room. All right, I feel more comfortable about that length. It's not a lot more, maybe another four inches. Now I need to get my width, so I'll be right back again. I may use this very piece. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see how the length is. Now this side just looks better. All right. This is the side that we're going to see, so I want my fold over to go behind it. Going off of the edge of this. I know this cut down here is not perfectly straight. The piece on the wrong side of the fabric to be bonded. 
paper liner should face up. Okay, so two seconds, paper side up, and then I'm gonna peel the paper off, adhesive will still be there, flap it over, eight seconds. That's what the directions say. <clears throat> Trying to find a decent angle to work here with you guys. All right, so. Okay. Now, I'm gonna peel the paper off, allow it to cool. I almost didn't. Now we wait. Yeah, that paper's coming right, right, well. Every time I'm about to complete the sentence, that paper's coming right off. It tears. All right. This is the one that's gonna take a whole lot longer. Eight seconds, and overlapping is what it says. Maybe it needs longer to get through that fabric. I don't know. I guess what I am going to try to do is I'm starting by getting this iron down so it lays flat on there. It would be disappointing if this doesn't uh, pan out. I mean, it seems very, very simple. Firm pressure. Okay, let me push down a little bit. It says those instructions are for cotton. It says for thicker fabrics, times may need to be longer. Maybe I'm not leaving it on there long enough. If I didn't say it out loud, it also does say to not use steam. We're just using the heat. I suppose the steam, the liquid in it, probably would um, unbond that glue material. I really hope I made this seam wide enough for this to slide in there. The simplest things sometimes. The simplest things. Okay, so the concept works. Now I guess we get to see how sturdy it was or how easy it is to tear off. Pretty easy when it's still. So there's that. Why did I tear it off in case you missed it? Because I didn't leave myself enough room for this piece to go in. Like, yeah, it technically would have fit there, but absolutely is like at its max. So let's do it again. That's annoying, isn't it? All right, guys, you've seen the process once. You saw that I didn't give myself enough room. I'll come, I'll jump back in once I finish this. Okay, you saw the process, you know what I was doing. I went ahead and got that reapplied, put my wooden piece through there. I'm using this clip, uh, even though it's old and dingy, I probably should spray paint it. I may still spray paint it with that white, um, appliance epoxy I keep using it seems to do pretty good on these plastics <clears throat> and that'll only take me a moment but either way for today I'm not going to mess with that because this piece just slips off and on but I figured it helps hold this in place hold it in there and all that good stuff right there even if the rest of it's the cut's not perfect if that makes sense I don't think it did Just trying to keep this very tight as I roll or as I staple. Try and put a lot of them. There actually weren't that many in the old fabric. Okay. Let's take this. This piece may be done. Let's go check it out. So I always keep it real with you guys. I'll always explain things, tell you the truth. You know that. Hopefully by now. With the fabric, it is more finicky than it was with that hard plastic um, curtain. It doesn't want to roll as well um, and I did get it to start rolling up a couple times and I actually had my fabric fold over on the right side here that's a little annoying on the other hand we never used that other one either and you're either gonna leave it up or down and as you just saw I just rolled it up not a big deal I can roll it down while well, I say that, then let's see what happens here. I'm trying. I don't understand. I don't know what's going on with this rod, with the tension uh, roller deal here. I don't know if, I, if the, the staples, if I put too many in, they got in some of the springs or what. 
But, you know, my alternative would have been to not reuse this at all and just put in some curtains or just put something over this and drape it anyways. At least now I have the option to roll it up. I mean, I'll probably just not mess with it that much, to be honest with you. Yeah, I could try and try and, you know, redo this and I don't know. Get it to go differently, but is it worth the effort? Like, actually, I think it looks all right like it is now. You know, I'm not a so I, I don't sew things. As you see me messing with this right here, I will admit it sounded more straightforward and simple than it is. Like, I didn't think about the frayed edges of the fabric. Uh, I guess I probably should have got the old sewing machine that I'm banned from using out sewing the edges so that it's not going to fray like that. So there's definitely more to it. But I think this will do our job. Anyways, I have this other piece to put on real quick. Well, not real quick, but we're also going to do that. I did cut it already. There's nothing to see there. Measured, make sure it was the right length. It was the width of the fabric, like it comes over to about right here, which is perfect for me. Measured the, the height. I want it to pretty much cover up this rod, which actually I think the rod's okay now that it's on there, but we're gonna go ahead and cover it up anyways, decorate it up. So fairly simple, I got a strip cut. Let's move on. Put our strip right there. All right, there's that. Let that sit for a moment. Make sure I get my little blue line there. By the way, I'm not at all worried about Jet messing up this table because we're going to replace it. There's a preview for you for down the road. Again, I'll come back because this is fairly uh, tedious. It doesn't take forever, but you want I want to I'm learning I want to leave that sit there for I mean every bit of 10-15 seconds or longer to get it to really seal and stay on with the sticker fabric so this will take me a couple minutes not much to see be right back all right so i scrapped that whole idea because it wasn't securing i don't know if it's because of that that bead of string or whatever it is is lifting it i don't know but it wasn't going on right so we're actually going to flip this invert it and use that little fray as the bottom just for a little bit of interesting decorativeness so Well, I also have these decorative tacks, so hopefully that can solve that problem. It's a lot easier to just use that little seven ounce hammer and tap them in than uh, fight it and try to press and press, you know, with your thumb. So check this guy out. Found this thing at Hobby Lobby. I guess it's a spacer, you know. So the idea is I'm going to use it to keep a nice even distance here. You know what? I wonder if I'm supposed to be using that side. Is it very apparent that I don't know what I'm doing? I mean, I'm getting the job done though, right? Whoops. Or it may have gone easier if I used those middle spacers. I feel like the gap's a little... I feel like it's a little more user-friendly. These ones on the edge, like these ones I feel like are pretty tight. I feel like if I was using that one, it'd be kind of easy. But I didn't want them really close together. And one more for the end. All right, what do you guys think? You got some privacy, got a functional curtain. For a little bit of time, a guy's got no idea what he's doing. Like, I'll take it. And it's better than that old, goofy, like, plastic one that was here. Didn't cost a lot of money. Fairly simple, pretty easy. I think anybody can do it. If you don't have a sewing machine, there you go. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.